day 792 being Christopher Cruz. It is, I think, 6, 6.30ish. Um, just got off my last coaching call for the day uh, with one of my clients that I had before all these new clients. Um, it's crazy, like my, my old clients are so much easier to coach it is just crazy. It's just like they're effortless. They're just like, they're just, yeah. Um, but I also have been coaching them for months. So, um, but yeah, it was, it was a really good call. Um, she created her, turn this brightness down. She created her vision for five years, one year, 90 days. And we went over it and it was just like her vision was so small compared to how great she is. And so God just worked through me and I just went to town on the bigness and the greatness. And, and she's a new believer. Like when I spoke in Denver, she was getting baptized. And so I can still tell she's like hesitant and, you know, not like not on fire for God yet or anything like that. But, but you know you could tell like her spirit wants it so just went to town on talking about her purpose and god and the bigness and the visions that he has for us the bigness you know and how he um shows all that so it was just this really really encouraging really inspiring call and uh she went from her goal in 90 days from now of having 10 people in her tribe to 500 and after talking more she looked at 500 she just laughed <laughs> she's just like that's nothing so it was just really cool for her to for me to see her perspective just expand just just shift dramatically and for her to see herself as so much bigger so yeah that was great so just um <laughs> really contrasting coaching calls um yeah, I was at the coffee shop today at 7, um, got work done, then my cousin needed some, some support with his relationship and started talking to him, it was just, I just told him, I was like, listen, there's, there's just not a lot I can say to you if, about what's going on or help you if I can't talk about God, so I'm just going to talk about God and my perspective, my experience, and that was really helpful. And then right after that, went into the call with one of my clients who's got, she's battling with two demons. And uh, that call was extremely interesting. Uh, she uh, got very upset, cussed me out a little bit. And I was just so calm and peaceful and loving. And I just feel like God was just like love her through it. And yeah, maintained my composure but also was very firm and things shifted it ended up being a really great call and a really powerful call and and so that was good and then had a call with a new client and that was taking a turn in a direction that I didn't want to go in but God showed up and uh led to massive breakthroughs which was great and then this last call with my client my older client so yeah the amazing thing is I'm just uh I'm not drained from the coaching calls like I used to be it's just like God is renewing me um yeah last week yeah, the last day really that drained me but it's like I have these three calls which are three very different calls take three different complete complete different types of energy but I feel great so yeah I'm gonna go have dinner I haven't had any lunch so I haven't really eaten very much today at all so I need to go eat dinner and um yeah and i actually get to relax the amazing thing 
about waking up early and going to the coffee shop is I got to work five hours before I even started my coaching calls. Like I got to work from seven to noon on Warriors of God and getting that launch. Oh, I didn't even talk about what I created with that. All right, I might do that tomorrow. I wanna go have dinner and relax. But the amazing thing is if I wake up early and I go work, then I get my work done before I start my coaching calls. And then I don't have to force myself to work at night because I don't feel bad or I don't feel guilty like I didn't get any work done. It's like I worked for five hours and then I did six hours of coaching calls. So I actually worked 11 hours. So yeah, I deserve to relax and rest. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna watch a freaking Christmas movie. So yeah. Boom.